you Katsifa, it's Joel. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. As always, I really, really appreciate it. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you how I transformed myself into Shoto Todoroki from Boku no Hero Academia. So yeah, if you wanna see how I achieved this look, then please keep on watching. So I'm on my bare face at the moment. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna moisturize and prime my face. So I use the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Cream and I use the Pick FX No Shine Mattifier. I usually put the No Shine Mattifier on the porous parts of my face, so it's usually this area. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw out the pattern of Todoroki scar. So I have a photo reference here and I'm gonna try to line out where the scar is using a white pencil. Once that's done, we now move on to foundation. So I'm using the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. So before I lay down my concealer, I am gonna do the red part of his face first. So I'm gonna do that by putting on the Meron Paradise face and body makeup in the shade red. We're done with this step. I'm just gonna continue on with concealer. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set everything. For the parts of my face that don't have the face paint, I'm gonna use a translucent setting powder and I'm gonna use the Coty Airspun. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the airspun on the high points of my face since this is, this is really known for flashback and then I'm just gonna set the rest of my face that doesn't have face paint with the Michido Final Powder. I'm for red eyeshadow, so I'm using the Morphe 35B palette, but you can, of course, use any red eyeshadow that you have. I'm also going to use the black to just intensify the color. Okay, so I dust off the excess of the powder, and then I'm going to move on to my eyes. Alright, so I'll move on to now my eye makeup, and the first thing that I will do is I will do my eyebrows. So I'm going to do this side of my face first because this is the most difficult. This is the eye that has the white brow. So what I will do is I will coat my brows with white pencil from BYS. I get the same pencil that we used to outline our scar. I'm just going to brush this off with a spoolie. I'm gonna make them a little bit grayish since they're not entirely white. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit of black to make it a little bit gray. Okay, next I clean out my eyebrows using just regular concealer. I'm using the Clio Kill Cover Liquid Concealer. And I'm just gonna use a brush to clean out the eyebrow. Now that the brows are done, I'm gonna move on now with my eyeshadow. So I'm actually using the Ecru Squad Palette from Detail Cosmetics. I'm gonna use Thatch Brown as a transition shade. Then I'm gonna use Buff on the inner and the outer corner and then spread it up. Go back with the brown, the Thatch Brown, and then just blend everything. And then I'm gonna take the shade Buff and put it below my waterline. I'm gonna use the same shade, so buff, to kind of line my eyes. I'm gonna take the shade Bagel and then put that on my inner corner. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my eyes 
using the white pencil that we used a while ago. I'm just gonna add more dimension to the eyes by putting on black eyeshadow. Now we're done with the eye makeup, finally. Now I'm just gonna bring back hydration to my face by using this matte setting spray. Now we do a little bit of contour. I'm not gonna contour that much, just here on my jawline and a little bit on my nose. So what I use for contour is the BYS Contour Trio Palette. Um, now comes my favorite part, so I'm gonna highlight now. Next, I'm gonna do lips, so I'm gonna use NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bedtime Flirt. Okay, to seal everything off, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. Of course, no transformation is complete without the wig, so I'm just gonna put it right now. And now this look is finally complete. So that's the end of the video, you guys. I hope you guys liked it. Be a part of the Katsu fam by subscribing to my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye!